we sort of we, we, we jump on the boat when it's safe and yeah. when it's safe only. That's um, when the river sort of stops peaking and it start, stops flowing sort of steady. Still, and you know, it goes down because you've got to power lines and whatever else is underneath there. But we'll come in and we'll just start to, to check on the paddocks and see how far our shed is until it's out of water because that's our first priority after the flood is the sheds, the concrete, the office. That's our first priorities. That's what we've got to clean first because it's all wet silt. Once that silt dries up, it's a lot harder to clean off. Each flood's different. The river can come up very, very quickly. Um, the biggest thing for me that I bring with the river bank is just stay away from your river banks. Be very, very careful around them because they can be very, very dangerous. The river banks collapse after three or four days. When you get a major flood, you it's like a sponge and the, it's draining. But then what happens, it collapses the last bit. Now, you could be standing on that river bank near the pump a collapse you won't find you. And the other thing too you have to be careful of and I'd hate to say it is as soon as they open the roads or before they open the roads you get people coming in here looting. That's happened to us when we had in the 1990s that have come to see what they can salvage or, or take. That's part of the reason of us trying to get here and secure everything as quick as we can. Yeah.